Deep in the Woods by Christopher Kaur, a folktale. Deep in the Woods was a little wooden house. It was painted bright white with nine neat windows and a red front door. It was the perfect little home, but it stood empty, cold and sad. One day, a mouse was passing by the wooden house. This looks like the perfect place for a little mouse like me, he said to himself and scurried inside. He swept the floors and washed the windows and mopped and wiped and scoured until everything was squeaky clean. A frog hopped by and saw the wooden house with its nine neat windows and red front door. This looks like the perfect home, he said, and went to see if anyone was in. Have you got room for a handsome frog like me, he asked, and the mouse welcomed him inside to live in the wooden house together. A rabbit bounded by the little wooden house with its nine neat windows and red front door. She thought it looked like the perfect home, and so she knocked on the door. Have you got room for a pretty rabbit like me, she asked, and the mouse and the frog welcome her inside to live in the wooden house together. A beaver bustled past the little wooden house with its nine neat windows and its red front door, and so did a fox and a rooster and a deer and a red squirrel. Have you got room for a merry band like us, they asked, and the mouse and the frog and the rabbit welcomed them inside to live in the wooden house together. An owl sitting in a tree could see all the animals living together in the little wooden house with its nine neat windows and its red front door. He flew down and knocked on the door with his beak. And so did two magpies and a woodpecker. Have you got room for some feathered friends like us? They asked and squeezed inside to live with the mouse and the frog and the rabbit and the beaver and the fox and the rooster and the deer and the squirrel. The animals felt very glad to live together in the little wooden house with its nine neat windows and its red front door. It's the perfect home, they said. The animals were so happy all together. They filled the little wooden house with their singing and their dancing and their playing into the night. The animals music floated through the woods and tickled the ears of a big brown bear. He followed the sound until he found the little wooden house. Through each of the nine neat windows, he could see a different creature. Each one was as happy as could be. The bear knocked on the red front door. Have you got room for a great big bear like me, he asked. The music stopped. The dancing ended. The mouse and the frog and the rabbit and the beaver and the fox and the rooster and the deer and the squirrel and the owl and the two magpies and the woodpecker all came out of the house to meet the bear. They looked at each other and shook their heads. No, they answered unhappily. There isn't room for a big bear in this little wooden house. Hmm, said the bear. Are you sure? He tried to get in through the nine neat windows. He tried to get in through the red front door. And last of all, he climbed up onto the roof. The little wooden house began to tremble. Creak, heard the animals, and they looked nervously up at the great big bear on top of the little wooden house. Crump went the house. Woof went the bear. No, cried the animals. Oh, said the bear. He dusted himself down. The little wooden house had collapsed underneath him. Oh no, sobbed the animals. What will we do without our home in the forest? Bear felt very sad. He wished he could think of a way to help. And then the bear had an idea. He chopped down trees and trimmed the branches and hammered and lifted and banged. 
the other animals joined in too. They worked and worked until they had built a house that was big enough for everyone. It was the perfect home for a mouse and a frog and a rabbit and a beaver and a fox and a rooster and a deer and a squirrel and an owl and two magpies and a woodpecker and a bear. It even had nine neat windows and a red front door. The only thing left to do now was celebrate. 